We are, whoa, really on the ball. I'm prepping right now for our Costco haul, which we're gonna be filming tomorrow. So if you're seeing this on the vlog, it happened the day before. So what I do is as, um, this is just on the fridge, and as I run out of stuff or know I need something, I scribble it on here. It's messy, there's a bunch, of, it's Target, Dollar Tree, you know, all the stores are here. Um, including Costco. And then when I know, okay, this is the day I'm going to Costco the day before, I sit down and I actually make the real list. So I go through and I double check in the back, back, back in my laundry room. Am I really, really out of trash bags? Yes, okay, they for sure have to stay on the list. And I write it all out neat and then I do my best guess of how much I think it's going to cost. And this is just based on previous hauls and experiences and I, some, some of the times I'm off, some of the times I'm on, but it just gives me an idea. At the top I always write how much money I have total and that includes taxes um, to spend. And so as I'm doing this, I might end up crossing something off the list. I'll say, okay, we can wait until next month to make that happen. Then I can go through some of the stuff I'm gonna buy at Costco it comes from groceries envelopes, some of it comes from the paper towel, um, et cetera, fun, which includes like garbage bags and toilet paper and things like that. So um, I don't know if you can hear Sethy boy, he's rejecting his quiet time right now. Um, but I just wanted to show you that's what happens so that on the day of, first of all, I have my wits about me and I am not caught unaware. And literally, I've said to many of those people at Costco that are the one-time people selling the bamboo pillows, listen, I'd love to buy from you, but this is all I have. And um, if it's awesome, I can come back home and pull the money out of another fund if I need to. But the whole point is, do people will say, how do you not go over budget in Costco? Well, this is how we do not go over budget. I write out my list, I write out how much it costs, and I bring that money. If I'm wrong, and I don't have enough money, one of these things gets left behind. Um, and it's just worked for us. And, and while I'm there, if I notice something like, oh, the Halloween costumes are out there, such a good deal, um, then I can go back and get them. This year, we're not buying from Costco. We're making our own because Joseph's in school. Um, there's a little requirements around that. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick little snapshot of what happens before we even leave the house or step foot in Costco to make our Costco haul effective and within slash under our budget. So future Bridget, you're doing great. <laughs> See you tomorrow. So now, Tip number one, mm -hmm. Costco haul. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eat before you go. <laughs> Eat something high in protein because an impulse buy at Costco is going to set you back 17 bucks. <laughs> So you don't want you don't want that. All right, we are we are heading out the door, folks. We are heading out the door. Back to their house. We're gonna stay at their house for like. <laughs> I have another tip which we didn't do, which is with kids. I always park right next to the shopping cart corral so that when I'm done and put all the groceries in, I can simply pop it in and I don't worry about my kids. Smart, genius. Basically, I always try and bring my own bags to Costco. Otherwise, they do boxes, which they're just trying to help, but they're giant. They fill up my entire recycle bin and it's hard to fit in the car. So if you can remember, bring your own bags. tiny little tip but I always when I'm going down through the store I cut I go on the edges of the store because the middle two aisles are always packed and jammed even just obviously we try, okay pause we gotta check and see if we need anything here um because even if you come uh, at a non-busy time which of course you should mornings early mornings during the week the middle two lines are always just a little bit busier and packed and like right now I'm not even looking where I'm going because nobody's around and you can just kind of zip down to the produce $5.49, so Woo. we're on course. Wow. Are we in order? Because I know how my Costco set up, and so I put it in order of like what comes next so I don't forget it. Oh, yes, yes we are. Yes we are. Oh, yeah. Everybody says to get one of these every time you come because it's extremely cheap. They're actually losing money on what it costs them to make it and what they charge us. I don't get it and here's why. Because I'm lazy. And once like the giant chunks don't come off anymore and I actually have to work to pick the meat off, I don't do it. It sits in my fridge, it goes bad, and I throw it away. So I'm actually losing. 
So I've learned, even though it's tempting and fun and cheap, I don't do it because I don't actually pick the rest of the meat off. Now, if you have a little bit of discipline, then go for it, because that's a good deal. <laughs> tip which you probably know but check on their little ply cards uh, the price per unit or the price per item or that like for instance with pa pa toilet paper it's price per 100 square feet and you can compare that obviously you probably know that but it just is smart it saves you pennies on the dime and can add up basically in order how do I know exactly how much it costs? This is maybe only the second time I bought it, but every time I go to either Trader Joe's or Costco or really any store, when I leave, I look at my receipt. I read what I bought and the price to one, double check I wasn't overcharged or triple charged or something like that. And also you start to commit to memory what things cost and how much they are. Now, I'm not saying this is perfect, but I did crush that one. Margarita mix, not on the list, bummer. Basically, this is why you make a list the day before when you have your wits about you because I love kettle, com kettle corn popcorn and look, it's on sale. It's $2.50 off. That's a, probably a good deal. This is a great brand. I think it's really high quality, but it's not on the list and it's not in the budget. So you just have to walk away. <laughs> Budget of nine bucks, it's $9.79. So you can't win them all. Another thing people forget about when they budget is taxes. And usually it's like 10 bucks here. Okay, paper towel, coffee beans, popcorn, Kodiak mix. But still, you gotta keep on, keep on your toes, stay on your list, so stay on your list. Oh, every now and then, you strike gold. And something that is on your list that you have budgeted for happens to also be on sale at the exact moment you need to buy it. So that's awesome. And you want to definitely just kind of do a happy dance in the aisle for that. Anywhere I go, I can feel your soul. It's twenty dollars here. It's not on the list. In the sky, in the sky, and I will. I just bought this. You were looking at it at the park the other day. It's good. down in my little budget book how what date I bought these trash bags and when I go to buy them again I will double check that to see how long do 200 bags last us I'm just curious I think it's like nine months but I could be wrong okay final tip is if you see a placard or play card, however you say it, with a little asterisk. I used to think that meant, oh, if you want to buy this item or if you ever want this item, you need to buy it now because it's going away. It will never be back. It will never be on the shelves again. Buy it, stock up, whatever. That's not true. False. It was verified today. We went and asked somebody, when you see an asterisk on the play card, that means that it will be off the shelf for three months. After that three months, they'll, they're going to go ahead and bring that back. So you don't need to go crazy and stock up. Certainly feel free to buy what you need, but you, it's not like you will never see that product again. And I didn't know that. I was, I had false information before this little haul. So there you go. Okay, receipt recap. As I mentioned before, when I get home, I take this list and I go through in a different color just because it helps me. And I write down just on the ones where I was off on the prices, either too high or too low. And I just, I'm visual, so seeing it, uh, helps me. So the milk I had budgeted, I put in four bucks. It was four ninety-five. So it's not that much. It's ninety-five cents. But I just need to commit to my mind. It's five, 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 five dollars. Milk at Costco is five dollars. Um, when I think of Trader Joe's, it's two seventy-nine. Um, 
a gallon, so it's like a 20, it's like a 40 cent savings if I buy it at Costco when I go. Trash bags were higher than I thought, and so were paper towels. I'm much more out of practice with that because I only buy them like once or twice a year. Um, but the paper towels, I was spot on, so that feels good. And uh, coffee beans, I was $4 lower because I ended up getting a different flavor than we normally get to switch things up, and that was on sale, uh, things like that. I just look at that. In my mind, I double checked the receipt to make sure I wasn't, you know, didn't get charged for something that I didn't think was in the cart. Sometimes with kids, you gotta look alive. Um, something can make it into your cart that shouldn't be there. And then as well, this just helps. It takes 12 seconds, I mean, to write it all out and check max one minute. And now you've committed this to memory. Now you can remember milk is five bucks. And as you go and as you continue to do this every month after you get three or four or eight, five months down, you are going to know the exact prices for most of the things that you buy on a regular basis. Um, Thanks for coming on our haul with us. And just a quick little bonus. My Little Pumpkin, my firstborn, started school. And I am really trying to find a breakfast that is going to be packed with protein to set him up for a great day. Because I don't know if he's going to eat his snack or his lunch. I don't know what of that he will eat. And I know, I can see with my own eyes, what he eats for breakfast. So this, it's expensive. This thing is 12 bucks, But it, I think it lasts a long time. And it's packed with protein and then they also recommend on the back if uh you mix in milk instead of water which we do whole milk so that's awesome and an egg as well and sometimes i even throw in two eggs you're just upping mm, that protein count that and my boys devour them they love it. them and one of the other things i can do with this is when i make them they're very quick to make so i can just make them fresh or like seth wanted them for lunch today my son my second oldest so i'm going to make a bunch right now and have them to just throw in the toaster for breakfast bottom line is thanks for coming along Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.